so hot. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. And I am going to drape a bra top to go with the other top to complete it and make it like, ah, yes yes <laughs> that's how i was gonna look so or at least that's the plan so right now i have my handy dandy um dress form and this is whitley and if you follow me on instagram you know that i named my dress forms whitley and jaleesa and this is whitley and um the bra actually makes the dress form my actual measurements what i want to do is create a bra top that has a little bit of a padding in it so i am going to use the shoulder pads from the t ugly top that we remade last week and i'm i'm gonna also go ahead and take the shoulder pads off i have them pinned on and basically i just want to i'm going to put a dart in them so that they simulate more of a curve right here all right so i have a little um darts in there and i also added a little piece of elastic in the middle you know just to give it a little spread in the middle and i'm actually going to use a thrifted chaps button up top and um, i'm just gonna cut it off so that it can in the future still be like a crop button up because i love this pink with this um white stripe and that is not even at all, not even a little bit, but at this point, I don't really care. I told you guys I'm hot. All right, I have the piece. I'm actually gonna turn it upside down and we are going to get ready to start draping. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to turn out, but honestly, I tell you guys all the time, you know, try, just try. You never know what will happen once you try this is for my babies sewing is concerned is just to uh, sew in these six darts and then to sew down the curve at the at the top see oh and to sew this down we can go ahead and sew this down and then we'll take it back to the dress form and get it on there so I have it on there it is attached to the little um, shoulder pads and then it's just attached to the dress form by two pins on the sides. But so next thing I'm going to do is I have I have made an extra little turn here. And so it's gonna come to a point on both sides. It's gonna come to a point on both sides, which I like. And then I am going to just cut it off over here. Um, and then I'm gonna make a band. I need to make a band for the back. I have some thick elastic and I also have a bra extender from when we did our one pieces from when we went from two pieces to one pieces. So I am going to take a big leap <laughs> and go ahead and cut that off on the side. Part. I'm just gonna turn this inside out and sew it, sew it up. And then um, I'm gonna cut it in half and sew the elastic into it. And um, what I'll probably do is case it in and create just like a little ruffle top and bottom effect. That's what I'm thinking right now. We'll see how it turns out in the end. So I didn't do it either. <laughs> but once that is done, I can 
So this on there, because we have elastic, so it doesn't really need to be adjustable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the seam. So that way I could put that there and then just snap it and it'll be hidden. Let's get it right this time. All right, so it is getting late in the day and um, the guy's outside right now working on the AC. So we're happy about that. So here is the front of the bra top. Here is the strap. And I have already attached the, the end. So one I did put inside. When I took it in, I went ahead and put it inside. And then the other is just on the outside and it's overlapped so that it'll overlap that way also i so the underside of the bra top to the shoulder pads or what is now my new padding i'm just going to attach these two stitch there stitch there and serge it all right so here are my final edits for the bralette um, you can see that right now it looks pretty stiff and that is because I have added a medium weight interfacing on the inside and then I also added some heat and bond to make this layer stick down. And you can see I put it underneath here because I also didn't like seeing where this stopped um, from this side. You shouldn't see that. So um, yeah, it looks pretty, you know, like unfinished. But, and I don't, normally don't do tutorials like this, but I wanted you guys to see me do some more experimental type stuff. Um, and I love the little ruffles. I think that they're so cute on the back. So yeah, I am pretty pleased with it. And let's see the final result. Before you go, it just occurred to me that I could turn it around and make the little bra top do a peekaboo through the front and strap it on the back and make the little peplum go in the back. subscriber definitely hit that subscribe button so I can show you how to create the wardrobe of your dreams one that fits your size and your personality all right I'll see you guys in the next one bye